In this video, one of my very good friends, Emil Poulsen, and I went to Bornholm to try to photograph the wild European bison. The wild European bison is an endangered species, and there's not many left of them. But to try to save them, on Bornholm there has been released 12 wild European bisons, and we wanted to photograph them. This is not a typical vlog or behind the scenes video, but more just a love story to these enormous animals. I hope you will like the video and welcome on our journey with the wild European bison. Hello everybody, this is our second day here at Bornholm. If you don't know Bornholm, Bornholm is a little island here in Denmark. It's actually closer to Sweden, but it is Danish. <laughs> and uh, we came here yesterday and we s took this hammock and then we stayed here and cooked some food. And I am joined by Emil Poulsen, hey, hey. who is a good friend of mine. He is also a wildlife photographer. If you don't know him, uh, you should know him. Uh, he's an incredible photographer. and have been a good friend of mine for the last two years or so, I think. Yeah. And he has actually just got featured by BBC. It's yeah. quite cool. <laughs> He's amazing, so... And we have a big day ahead of us, because today we're going to see if we can find the wild bison here on Bonholm. See you. To find the bison out here, you have to be aware of everything, and I mean, your eyes have to be so focused on all the little hints they're giving. For example, you can look at the instruments, see if it's old or it's fresh, and that will give you a hint about how long it has been since they were here. But also, looking at the footprints, where they're going, and looking like the trees, if they have like scratched up against the bark then they could be there as well, so you need to be aware of everything. Okay, so Emil and I think we're getting quite close now. We just found like four or five very fresh instruments and we found a little bit of fur and now this one there's a lot more it could be the window coating it's dropping off now because that's quite a lot of fur but uh, we also heard some sounds coming uh, from that direction which was not just like a deer it could be the bison but we don't know but uh, we might be quite close now <laughs> We 
got quite frightened and scared uh, when it started shaking its head and stamping on the ground and looking straight toward us and started walking but after some time where we have observed them, Emil and I, we found out through our telephoto lenses that it's actually because of all the flies and mosquitoes. They are trying to get them away, yeah, so they actually do not care about us at all. Emil and I have just made ourselves a little base camp just a few meters from the group. We're actually just in the middle of them and we're just eating our, <laughs> our, our lunch. Yeah, so that was all for this little adventure and it has been such a wonderful day here with the wild bison. Emil and I have had so much fun today and learned so much about these animals because they are truly an amazing and inspiring animal. It has been my first time seeing the wild bison and it was incredible. I will just say thank you for watching and see you on the next adventure.